Ladies and gentlemen, the long wait has come to an end. Here we are to experience the first game of the men's category after a long, long, long season. City Oilers taking UCU men as well. You have just seen the first game being taken by UCU Lady Cannons. Uh, the UCU Lady Men. Are the UCU men going to take this one or the defending champions are going to do what they have really done best so far for six years consecutive in a row? Whatever this game has for us, we can't really wait for it to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the first game of the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome uh, to the NBL Finals, City Oil versus UCU. It's the six-time champions, of course the defending champions, taking on uh, UCU Cannons. This has actually been their second time in the finals in the history of Ugandan basketball. The first time they were in the finals was in 2015. This is the second time, all because of Coach Nick. On the, on the floor right now we have Ivan Muhwezi. James Okello, Landry Dikumana, Josh Johnson, and Tony Drileba. And for the UCU, we have Chuma Fadili, we have Titus, we have Bale Fayed, and we have Isaiah. It's going to be a very long contest today. And of course, uh, Johas Maheta. It's going to be a very long contest today. It's the finals we've all been waiting for all year long. These are the Lions in the NBL 2019-2019 regular season. It actually ended one uh, one one all to both teams. We had UCU take uh, game one and uh, City Oil take game two. So I believe this uh, this uh, final won't uh, won't disappoint the crowd in the house tonight. With me, I have Carol Frank, a player of Falcons, and of course Brent for the game tonight. I'm going with uh, City Oil today. They have won uh, six championships in a row. Um, and they have experience on their side. Uh, you see you, a young team, young squad. They have been to the finals in 2015, lost that series 4-3. Uh, but uh, I believe uh, this is going to be a tough challenge for them. Uh. The final. It's the UCU cannot taking on uh, the six-time champions. That is uh, the City Oilers. Well, definitely it's a matchup. That uh, both teams are both teams are good. It is going to be a very competitive game. Um, very interesting to watch. You can see the arena is full. So the fans are expectant. Uh, both team fans yes uh, for now I don't have a side well my team warriors lost so I'm neutral them wearing an oil and shirt eh? I'm neutral for tonight we have more One of the best of the league. It's oil and offense one thing. That would be a very Titus Luar Chuma Fadeli 
Titus Lual on the drive. Back up. Looking for a pass. Almost stolen. Landry Ndokumana. Ball out of play. Titus Lual to take the inbound. Ball to Bale Fayet. Bale Fayet bringing down the game. Couple of rotation. What a crossover. And almost a finish. He misses that one. In and out. In and out and he misses. Strong attack. Ivan misses. Shooting two. Referee Monday Baker called shooting two. Ivan will go to the line for two. Ladies and gentlemen, the arena is full. The long awaited matchup is here. Ivan misses the first one. The finals, the clash of the Titans. The guys from Mukono and the Kampala based City Oilers. And he misses the second. Rebound by stripped Isaiah Adel, the man from South Sudan, with a clear instinct. Drive by the Ipswich player, former Josh Johnson. Landry Dukumana blocked by Titus Lual. Takes a strong drive and been fouled by Ivan Mwezi. The young fella fouled. It was going to be a dunk, but the young fella wasn't going to allow anything easy right there. Ivan Mwezi fouled Titus Lual on that drive. 6 2. Sioux leading. Six minutes. Six minutes, 14 seconds to play on the clock. Titus Lual makes the first. You see, you looking so good so far in this first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first game of the finals and he makes the second Titus Lual taking everything Vinny take over please Titus Lual is actually the only scorer of City Oil with eight points two threes and two beautiful free throws now we have City Oil on office Josh Johnson knocks down the easy three poor defense by Isaiah those are actually eight five in favor of UCU five minutes 55 seconds to go City Oil, City Oil offense, Chuma Fadili. We have Isaiah, one of the best shooters in the in Ugandan basketball. Tries attacking, and uh, Becca Mande, the referee, calls the travel. Very interesting game of basketball today. Both teams blessed with fitness. The City Oil team, of course, blessed a lot with a lot of experience, organization, and the UCU team. Blessed, of course, with a lot of fitness and, of course, organization. So it's a fair matchup tonight. Tony Drileba with a good feed. Motu James Okelo marked by Chuma Fadil with a powerful turn. Tries assisting, but it's a turn over once again by City Oil. Just with a no look. Chuma Fadil attacks the basket and makes the easy two. 10 5. You see you with the lead. Landry Dikumana attacks the paint strong with a turn around. James Okelo attacks. Misses an easy one. 
He's actually down, kind of looks hard, but he's up on his feet. You see you looking very calm on offense, Com taking the command right now. Good steal by Isaiah. Tony Drilleba with the interception recovers the ball for, for City Oilers. Very slow game by City Oil today, but as the series have been going, they've actually had a very, very slow first half. I hope today there can be a difference because their opponents are really up for the game today. Landry Dikumana with the three misses the easy one. Good rebound by Johas. City Ball, City, uh, UCU offense. Johas with a good pass to Isaiah. They look for the big man from Tanzania. That is uh, Fadili Chuma with a good assist to Titus. Titus misses. Almost made the 12th point for UCU. Interception by Bale. Fayed with the, with the nice moves. And the referee calls the foul by Ivan. Very interesting game of basketball tonight. The UCU crowd is already up for the event today. Of course, the City Oil fans usually begin celebrating in the fourth quarter. Lively crowd tonight. Very big crowd in the Lugogo Indoor Stadium. If you're not here today, please get your way right now. You see you ball. Fahid Bale with the inbound. The Tanzanian, very big. Uh, Fadili with the ball. On to Isaiah for the big three. He misses the easy. Tony Rileba with a nice rebound. Josh Johnson, guarded by Isaiah. Good screen by Landry the commander. Josh Johnson attacks the basket, turns over, and the referee calls a foul on James Okello. Referee Monica says James Okello dived on Fadili Chuma's leg, and it's UC ball. What a bad turnover by City Oilers once again. Three minutes, 57 seconds to go. It's going to be a very long evening tonight for both teams. May the best team win. Bale Faid, very calm with the ball. UCU offense gets a screen from Chuma Fadili. Johas with a nice crossover, shows off his handles and attacks the basket with an easy miss. James Okello with a good rebound. On to Josh Johnson. City Oil offense, very calm as usual with only five points in this quarter so far. Okello with the easy perimeter shot and he misses one. Yet again, very poor offense by City Oil. Already having a long evening with about only four players on their bench. We have Jimmy Enabu, the captain of the national team, and City Oil, of course. We have Naja Juko, Juko Daniel, we have Omo, and we have the talented Komakesh Ben. Okello with a big, powerful rebound and puts up an easy point. Complains to the referee. There was a foul, but the referee brushes it off. Scores a 7-10 to UCU once again. The big Tanzanian, guarded by James Okello. With an easy jump, a perimeter shot, and he misses the Dikumana with a good rebound. Josh Johnson, City Ball, City Oil offense once again. Josh Johnson, good screen from Okello. With a roll-off, gets the ball, perimeter shot. Good shot by Oxy, just at number 15. All the way from Luzira. Here we go. Beautiful game of basketball once again. 10 9 in favor of course. You see you two minutes, 24 seconds to go. Bale hesitates on the three. Titus has already banked two for two on the three with a beautiful assist to Joas. Joas attacks the basket with the easy perimeter two. In and out, and it comes out. City Boil, City Oil, uh, City Oil Ball once again. Josh Johnson very calm with the ball calls the big man from Burundi for the screen and he feeds him beautifully Tony Rileba with the three misses once again beautiful rebound by by Ivan Landry on to Okello James with a with a euro step but he misses good rebound by Juma Fadili Bale with the easy layup City Oil 12 City Oil 9 you see you 12 City Oil have this in command right now right about now but please do not write the champions out of this they are the six time champions so anything is possible it's the first quarter beautiful feed to landry by okello 
but he claims they pulled him and it's a turnover on City Oil. Right about now, we have Caesar on the phone for Bale. We have the big man, the beast himself, Dikong, a contender for MVP regular season and MVP for the playoffs. You see you ball, Becker Mande Chamba, the, the referee trying to advise the bench of UCU telling them to calm down we have him having a word with coach Nick tra trying to tell the coach please control your bench otherwise I'll give him a turn over that's what referees usually do when the, when the bench is rowdy you see you ball now we have Caesar the point guard who has just a Bali Fayed very calm as usual with their nice calling the nice plays Chuma on to Dikong. This is his first touch. Titus, the man on fire with an easy jumper. And he misses. For the City Oilers, we have Captain Jimmy Enau. We have Omo on the floor right now. Landrin Dikumana and Tony Pleba have taken a seat. Okello with a hard drive. With a hard drive, tries to force one inside. Turns over once again. Easy turnover. 50 seconds to go. You see your ball. Dikong marked by James Okello. Good pass by Caesar. And the referee calls push on, on Titus. Both teams are actually not in foul trouble. You see, you only have one foul this quarter. And City Oil have three fouls now. They've just uh, gotten into foul trouble. Right. It's an inbound by you see you on the baseline. Somebody puts the ball down and, tell, and begins counting. Forcing the uh, UC players to pick the ball up quickly, otherwise, it will be a violation. Good screen by Fadil Chuma. Caesar for the perimeter shot, and he misses. Good rebound by Ivan Muhezi. He's actually about uh, four rebounds. That's a good rebound by the small man, Jimmy Enabu. On the floor right now, Josh Johnson with a hesitation onto the captain of the national team and City Oil with a good assist to Josh Johnson. And he misses the easy one once again. 15 seconds to go. I believe uh, UC is going to end this quarter with the lead. Chuma Fadil. UCU ball with about five seconds to go. Caesar with the turnaround. Oh my God. And he misses Ivan Muhezi with a beautiful rebound once again. Tries the shot from the half. And he misses it. End of first quarter. UCU 12, City Oil. On to my colleague Sadiq. You're looking good so far.
and it's good. Sifuma. Sifuma. Ben Koma catch. Guarded by Caesar. Tony Driver. Omo fake. Travel. Travel call. Sifuma goes out for Chuma Fadili. Back on the Chuma back on the game. Inbound to be taken by UCU, Chuma Fadili, the man from Tanzania. Put in outstanding performance, Jerry Kayanga. Titus Lual, a mismatch there. Caesar, fake. Chuma Fadili saved that one. Almost a buzzer. The Kong for three and misses. Omo, good hustle. A drive by the captain. What an assist. James Okello misses. Rebound. Foul by Jimmy Enabu. Jimmy Enabu fouled the Kong. It's a very good transitional play by both sides. The Oilers looking to edge his one point game. You see you leading by one point, 12, 11. Caesar bringing down the game. Guarded by Bonnie Komakech. What a backdoor there. What a block by Tony Driver. Ball out of play. Tony, block. Tony gave a block. He gave, he gave the Kong the taste of his own medicine. Tony gave the Kong the test of his own medicine. Tony Driver. Caesar. Inbound play. Jerry Kayanga for three. And it's good. And it's good. Jerry Kayanga all the way from downtown Mukono. Basket good. Captain Jimmy Inabu. Omo. Ben Koma catch. Ben Koma catch. To Tony Driver, Landry in Kudokumana. Omo fake, pull up, in and out. Rebound by Chuma Fadil. Chuma, Chuma Fadil bringing down the game to Caesar. Attacks the paint strong. It's bad. No foul called by the referees. Tony Driver. Hand off by Landry in Kudokumana. Jimmy Enabu trying to work some magic. Pull up and it's bad. Basket not good. Caesar. The Kong pull up two and misses. Rebound Chuma Fadili. Foul. Foul by Ben Komakech. Ben Komakech, one of the greatest also to play the game of basketball in the history of Uganda. A matchup between UCU and the Oilers. UCU headed by the great coach, Nick Natuhereza. Chuma Fadili makes the first. The man from Tanzania is making each and everything count from the line. Chuma Fadili. The Tanzanian. Takes, misses the second. Crash. Tony Dreba bringing down the game, guarded by the youngster, Jerry Kayanga. Post, travel, travel, Landry in Dokomana. Landry in Dokomana traveled. A travel violation. Caesar. 16 11, you see you leading. No handoff. It was almost a back door. The Kong was calling. He had a mismatch. But a very late call. Turnover by Chuma Fadili. Timeout.
The referee is trying to have some few words. Very good call. Very good game so far. We are in the second quarter. Six minutes, 14 seconds to play. Ladies and gentlemen, the first game of the 2019-2020. 2019-2020 finals men's category. City Oilers, the six-time champions, taking on UCU Cannons. The last time we saw this game was in 2015 where the City Oilers swept the UCU in the finals. Very good game so far. 16 minutes, 14 seconds on the clock. City Oilers battling with some few injuries from their players. Injuries like John Aigao out, who is supposed to have a surgery in Qatar for a destructive Achilles. And the Nigerian new signing Francis Azolive from Quara Falcons also having a ligament destroying, a destroyed ligament. And the legend also, one of the big legends to play the game. In the name of uh, Steve Omani, also due to go for surgery. Jerry Kayanga for three and misses that one. Rebound Jimmy Inabu and his his kick out. Ben Komakech for and it's good. Ben Komakech all the way from downtown. Vinny, what do you think about the game so far? Oh my god, very uh, beautiful transition by the captain Jimmy Enabu looks for his uh, fellow comrade Ben Komakesh with the deep three. It's actually very hard to take such a shot on transition, but that was actually a very beautiful shot. City Foil offense right now, once again. Tony Dilemma, guarded by Caesar. Good assist to Komakesh once again. Formerly with the big three, attacks the basket. Beautiful assist to Omo for the three. Misses once again. Good rebound by Fadili Chuma, the big Tanzanian. UCU offense, 16. Uh, UCU 14. City Oil, four minutes, 55 seconds gone. Good assist by Jerry to Titus and misses the easy. Then picks his rebound, pounds once again and misses yet again. Very easy miss by the tall Sudanese Titus Lual. Tony Drilleba commanding the offense. Very poor and slow offense by City Oil once again. Tony Drilleba with the easy, easy, easy two. The big man who went to sleep and Tony Drilleba with a very beautiful floater. Coach Nick is disappointed and telling his troops to step up. Good move. Good step back by Dikong. On to Jerry Kayanga for the three. And he makes the easy one. Jerry Kayanga with back-to-back -back threes. You see you 19. City Oil 16. It's getting intense. Both teams shooting well at the arc tonight. City Oil actually playing with four small men. And they are all out. Jimmy A. Nabu with a three once again. Jimmy Enabu with a deep three. Guarded by Jerry Kayanga. And I know he's disappointed. Good assist. Good screen by Jerry Kayanga. And Chuba Fadili makes the easy, easy two. City Oil went to sleep. City Oil actually playing with four guards. Four guards outside. And one big man, Landry Kumana, is playing inside. So it's tough for stuff really tough for city oil but they're the champions so anything can happen jimmy nabu posting up on oh oh my god with the kobe brand fed around turn around and he bangs it in jimmy nabu hits caesar with the kobe turn around you see you 21 city oil 21 and it's a tight game that's a travel violation uh Mando was actually next to dikong and he realized there was a walk on the city oil technical team we have, oh my god, there's a technical foul by Becca Chambade on the on Kong. 
I don't know what uh, Dikong actually told Becker. He has been hit with a technical foul. The crowd is not happy with that call, booing the referee. But anyway, the referee's word is final. And we have Tony Duleba on the line going to take the free throw. It's going to be shooting one. It's going to be shooting one for City Oil, Tony Duleba. Crowd is not really happy with that call, but uh, we all don't know what uh, Dikong told the referee. So that was a bad play by the young man from UC. He shouldn't do that. If he wants uh, UC to have a chance, he should keep a very calm and mature brain. And uh, it can be really easy if uh, they keep coming the game tonight. Tony Dreleba brags with his handles. Turnover by Tony. Titus with a steal. That's a foul. Foul. Shooting two. Titus with a good transition. And it's fouled by Tony Dreleba after turning over. So poor play by Tony Dreleba. Picks up the chief foul after fouling. After, after turning over and uh, he fouls uh, Titus Lowell once again. He actually has a shooting hand. Manda Baker uh, threatens uh, Nick Naduherenza. The crowd is not happy. <laughs> Everyone is against the six-time champions. They want a change for the first time. It's been really long since we had uh, new champions in the Uganda Basketball League. So I give uh, Becker some. <laughs> we cut, we cut Becker some slack. The crowd is against him. Oh my God. Oh my God. He calls uh, Nick Datuhereza once again. Eject him. Nick Datuhereza has been ejected by Becker and we have Samuel Lukaire trying to calm Nick Datuhereza down Nick Datuhereza is not happy he's being calmed down by Yahaya Kalyesubula and Samuel Lukaire here we go the crowd is shouting Becker's name and they're booing him crazy scenes happening at the MTA Lugogo Arena Be Becker Monday has just ejected Nick that we have his players high-fiving him, Dikong, Bale Fayed, Chuba Fadili telling their coach it's all emotional at the arena tonight. The crowd are backing the UCU basketball team. The crowd screaming UCU 21 to City, uh, UCU 22, City Oil, 2 minutes 48 seconds. Titus makes the easy one. It's all tied. The crowd in jubilation. And Beckerman, of course, the leading referee for tonight's game, reminds the coaches, I mean, the, the referees, it's been a technical foul, so there's no need to box out for the rebound. The crowd with a chance, UCU clapping their hands, all in support of UCU. Very, very electric crowd tonight. Titus with the second one, and he banks it. But remember, Coach Nick was ejected, so it has to be shooting one to City Oil, and it's going to be a UCU ball once again. Tony Dreleba, very calm, goes through his rituals with one free throw, and he makes the easy one. It's actually two free throws. It was actually a T, then an ejection, so it's two free throws to City Oil. 23 all. Tony very calm on the uh, on the free throw line, and he misses, and the crowd is very happy. There's UCU fans in jubilation for the UCU team once again. Tony Dreleba misses. He's actually a 70% free throw shooter and he misses the easy one. Jimmy Enabu, guided by Jerry. The crowd with a defensive chance for the UCU team. Good feed by Jimmy Enabu on to Okello James with the assist. Come catch Ben. And it's a 24 second clock violation by City Oil, good defense. Good defense by the, from the, by the boys from Mukono. Playing very calm on defense and offense. My man, Carrero Frank, what do you have to say about the game right about now? You see, you have to play a little bit faster. They are playing at a very slow tempo right now. And uh, City Oil is using this maturity to slow down the game and call their plays. But uh, you see you having younger legs and uh, being more energetic will have to play at a faster rate than this if they are to have any chance in the game. All the technical staff of UCU, of City Oil, we have Tendo, Mande, Juruni, we have Mugisha, there's a substitution coming on, Isaiah on, Titus Lual off. We actually have uh, a new staff on the City Oil 
coaching committee. I don't know, he must have been flown from abroad. And for the UCU team, we have Lukai Resam, Chigui, Kalia Subula, Yahaya, formerly over UCU. Actually, three of the players, three of the the members of the coaching staff of UCU are all former players. Over, failed to get the Kong, uh, gave him a high pass. I believe he got it. Scores all tied at 23 second quarter, minus 18 seconds to lots of whistles being had in the red tonight. We have Ben Makich going onto the bench, and Ivan Muhezi checking in once again. Jimmy Enabu, guarded by Jerry Kayanga, onto Okello. Thinks about the three, looks for Tony Drilleba for the three, and he shoots it. Tony Drilleba with a count three, yet again. The big man from Burundi for the three, but he misses. Good rebound by Ivan Muhezi. I think picking rebound is one of his strengths. Oxy with a powerful drive and he's fouled. He is fouled. On the drive. And the referee says Oxy is going to be. City Oil up right about now. By three points. 26 City Oil, 23 UCU. We have Chigui, the man who has stepped up in Coach Nicky's shoes. I hope there can be success in what he's doing right about now. Okello James banks the first free throw. We have Ivan Muhezi on the box out against Chuma Fadili. James Okello and banks the second one yet again. The champions are up by five points. And of course, the crowd is not impressed. I am very sure majority of the people tonight in the arena are UCU fans Jimmy Enabu on Kayanga Jerry Fadili Chuma against Bur the big Burundian good defense by Landry Chuma with a turnaround good rebound and he misses the easy Jimmy Enabu with a powerful rebound UCU off City Oil offense Jimmy Enabu chases Tony Drilleba away wants to work with James Okello attacks the basket Okello with a, with a powerful drive and he misses and he misses oh my god turnover by you see once again Fadili Chuma with a nice pass but the big man from Mukono never read the pass so it's a turnover by you see once again on the floor we have Ivan Muhezi, Jimmy Enabu, Tony Drileba, James Okello, Landry Dikumana for the City Oil basketball team from Luzira Jimmy Enabu attacks with a good assist to Okello and he misses good rebound by Fadili Chuma on transition good move by the big man from Ukono basket good poor finish by James Okello playing like he's tired you see City Oil offense good steal by Bale fired with an easy and misses yet again Ivan Muhezi on to Kayanga Jerry for the big three oh my god Very electric game of basketball tonight. Me, that is a turnover.
slow down the tempo to walking pace. Frank actually plays for Falcon, six-time champion in the Uganda Basketball League. He's actually one of the best three-point shooters. Arguably one of the best right now. On to my colleague Sadiq. Well, the game is very intense. Really bringing what we expected from it. The fans are all cheered up. You can really see the last three-pointer which was taken by Jerry Kayanga made everyone to be on his feet. And the fans are not really happy the way the referees were taken like one-sided by as the fans proclaim well it's really an intensive game very competitive very hot the fire which is in there i don't actually know but vini like players like you and others are the ones who really handle the pressure inside there it's really intense inbound play taken by Dikong Balefayed, number eight of UCU Cannons, calling the plays, feeding the post, Dikong on the post, kick out. Chuma Fadil, easy two, misses, Dikong with the rebound. Jerry Kayanga for three, and misses that. Tony Dreva bringing down the game, trying to. James Okelu on the high post. The former Isp switch player of the glass, and it's good. Bale fight. Games apiece. 30 ups. Bale fight. Feeding the back door. Saved by James Okelu. A good run. Stripped by Jerry Kayanga. Actually, foul call. Mariam called a foul right there. Side ball to be inbounded by Josh Johnson. The man with the big beards and as well some good basketball. Played in the UK. Landry in the command. Off to the, the captain. Big rebound James Okello. Landry tries again for three and it's good. He banks it home. Balefied, Landry in the Kumana, trying to bring some heat by putting the Oilers on lead. Balefied with the answer, and he's fouled by Tony Dreba, shooting three. Balefied will go to the line and shoot three point, uh, three free throws. Balefied on the line, very young. He makes the first. He makes the first. Bale fired. Makes the second. That is what we call consistency. Shooting. Very good percentage tonight. And calling some good games. And makes the third. The game is tied. That's three ups. Tony Dreba bringing the game. Cool it off. Landry in the command. Hand. Beat that hand off. And he finished strong. Hand off. Titus Lual. And he kicks out. Titus Lual. Tries for three. And misses that one. Ball off Landry in the command. Titus Lual hesitated, but at finally he took the three, which wasn't really, which wasn't counted there. Jerry Kayanga, Chuma Fadili for easy two, and that basket good. Game is starter at five halves. Josh Johnson bringing the play. James Okello to Tony Deleva. A post by the captain, Jimmy Enabu. Pull up. And he misses. Rebound. Bale fired. Bringing the play. Dikong for Titus Lual. Kicks out. Drive. 
Titus Lual off the glass and he picks his rebound. Basket good. Basket good. 37 35. Tony Driver complaining for a very poor defense there by the City Oilers. Landry in the commander. Jab. Clears. Guarded by Fadili. Chuma. Cut. Landry in the commander. Sh air ball. Chuma Fadili misses a grab of that one. Turnover. UCU Cannons. A very good transitional play. Ends up a turnover by the UCU. What a very good play. Nice rebound there by David Congor. Chuma Fadili. Isaiah Ather. The shooter is back on the floor. Let's see what he got for this game. Tony Dreba, guarded by Isaiah. Isaiah, Ather, screened by Landry. Pull up by Tony, and he misses that one. Chuma Fadili with the rebound. Bringing the game to the floor. Chuma Fadili. The Kong for three, almost. Ball out of bound. Oilers. Oilers to take the inbound. Vinny. Substitution. Uh, we have Juko Daniel checking in for the first time in this game. He's going to sub Tony Drileba. Earlier on, we had Jimmy Enabu sitting down and Koma Kesh Ben, one of the veterans City Oil team, stepping onto the floor, aka KB08. We have City Oil, very common office. Josh Johnson, my colleague calls him the man with the big beard. Landry Dikumana with the hesitation on the three. On to Koma Kesh Ben. Dribbles around. On to Koma. Jumps to Kelo Landry for the three from downtown. And he misses Koma Kesh Ben with a big hustle play on defense. But Baker Mande says it's off him. Big up to Deep End Sports Media for bringing this on to our live link and of course very special thanks to the referees fuba at large that's the whole committee thank you very much for lighting up the ugandan basketball league 2019 and of course not forgetting the sponsors uap and tasker light juko naja on to josh johnson with the attack on offense Looks for Landry Dikumana, Naja Juko with a hesitation for the perimeter shot and he shoots an air ball. Good box out by my own James Okello, one of the best defensive players in the league. City UCU ball, 37 UCU, 35 City Oil, 526 play to go in the third quarter. Isaiah for the good steal by Koma Ketch Ben Juko Naja tries attacking on offense and turns over once again Tony Muhezi checks in once again Josh Johnson going onto the floor the man with the big beard like my colleague says has really hustled so I think the coach wants him to rest a little bit one of our commentators tonight Saika is not in the building greetings outside there from your crew a uh, good drive by Chuma Fadili. Titus with the offensive rebound and is fouled. What does the referee have to say? Is it a shooting two or it's a side ball? Pushing foul and the referee says shooting two by Titus. On the score sheet, Titus Lual has 12 points. He's the top scorer of the UCU team. And for the City Oil team, we have Jimmy Enabu tied with uh, Tony Drileba with for seven for seven points each good free throw by Titus Lual you see you up three it's a CISO game and it's usually very dangerous to play a CISO game with the six-time champions Titus for the second and makes the easy one the tall lanky player is already contending for man of the match he registers his 14th point. Koma catch Ben guarded by Bale Faid. Landry Dikumana guarded by Titus. Landry for the easy one. And he misses. 
Good defense by, by City Oil. Dikong on the transition for UCU. Hesitates a bit. Titus with a mismatch. Referee calls a foul on Comacatch Ben. He fouled Titus Lual. It's a side ball. UCU looking very good on offense. Four minutes, 29 seconds to go. Both teams. Actually, you see City Oil is almost in foul trouble. They have about three. Jimmy Enable checking in once again for the he's gonna sub the big man from Burundi, Landry Dikumana. So you see you City Oil has actually gone with four guards with only one big man that is Okello. You see you ball. Titus Lual on to Isaiah, guarded by Muhezi with a good attack, and he makes the foul basket. Poor defense by Ivan Muhezi. He tries guarding Isaiah and Isaiah calmly attacks the basket with the up by six points. Substitution of Ivan Muhezi. Actually, no substitution. Coach Mande Juruni just has a word for Ivan Muhezi. The young man there with words of wisdom. With words of wisdom from Mande Juruni. Turnover by James Okello. UCU ball. UCU is actually dominating play in third quarter. They go up by 60 points with 4 minutes 23 seconds to go. Johas on the inbound. On to Dikong. Guarded by Komakech Ben. Balefayed. With the attack. With a beautiful assist. Chuma for the two. Oh my god. He misses once again. Good rebound by Dikong. Foul by the captain Jimmy Enabu on Dikong and City Oil is actually in foul trouble so it's going to be shooting two on the line shooting two on the line by Dikong Jimmy Enabu picks up his second foul he's actually still safe for the City Oil team we only have uh, Ivan Muhezi with three fouls and the UCU team really looking good most players with one foul each can you imagine so you see you taking charge of the game in the third quarter dikong with a good free throw he banks the second one and he has made two for two on the line you see you 43 city oil 35 you see you the eight point lead Koma catch ben brings the ball down good screen by james okello on to jimmy enabu naja juko with the ball he attacks the basket foul and the referee says foul on Johas. He tried drawing the charge but uh, Juko Naja with a beautiful experience picks up the foul and Naja thinks it's shooting too but the referee says no. You see you ball in by, by Koma Ketch Ben on the baseline. 3 minutes 56 seconds to go. City Oil ball. Dikong taking on Naja Juko. The talented veteran point guard Jimmy Nabu for the three misses yet again. Okello James with a good rebound and he hits it on Isaiah. The referee calls a foul on Isaiah. The referee calls a foul on Isaiah. He fouled the big man from City Oil James Okello. So it's going to be City Oil ball once again. Crowd is really quiet right now. But I know with time things are gonna change. It's gonna light up once again. Sabon Koma Ketch Ben and Juko Daniel, Tony Drilleba and Josh Johnson. My fellow commentator says the man with the big beard. Ivan Muhezi. Good screen by James Okello. And he attacks for the easy one. On to Josh Johnson for the three. And he misses in and out. Beautiful shot by Josh Johnson. But it's actually unlucky. It was actually a very good shot. Balefayed poses with his handles once again guided by Jimmy Enabu good screen by Chuma Fadili very good peri perimeter shot perimeter shooter right there with a fake James Okello goes up Chuma Fadili makes the easy perimeter shot and the crowd is lit once again the crowd is happy you see you up Jimmy Enabu guided by Bale Fayed Okello James with a perimeter shot Jimmy Nabu with a good rebound and he misses it. Dikong with a defensive rebound. You see ball. Chuma Fadili attacks on offense. Hesitates a bit. And the crowd with a jubilation for the UCU team. 
Isaiah with the three. Hey, downtown. You see, you take a 10 point lead. And Beck Manage Rooney calls it. You see, you 48. City only 35. You see, you up 13. And the boys from Mukono looking very good on the three point line. Crowd is electric once again. When UCU is up, the crowd is excited. Majority of the fans in the crowd tonight are backing UCU to take this. I think the crowd is tired of the six time champions. They want to see a change. Sometimes people say change is necessary. I talked to fans earlier on and they said if City Oil keep taking the, the championship, they will boycott league games. I don't know how true that is. And for the development of basketball in Uganda, if UCU can manage to defeat the six-time champions, a fan outside there said that is growth in the Ugandan league. I don't know how true that is. On to my colleague, Sadiq. What do you think? Wow. The UCU fans are already cheering up. As you can hear the arena, everyone is saying, you see you, you see you. As they look very good against the six-time champions, Tony Dreva, bringing down the ball. Screened by Okello, pick and roll. Okello from the post, kick out to Josh, Josh on the drive. What a feed there, basket good, what an assist, what an assist. Josh Johnson with a very good assist. Isaiah third for the pull up again. Almost rebound by Josh Johnson. Tony Dreva on the run. Tony Dreva. Josh Johnson. Tony Dreva for pull up and misses. Rebound. Balefied attack strong. He attacks. Kicked out. Josh Maheta for three and misses. Rebound Balefied. Arthur, stolen by Ben Comacatch. Oxy makes that back. Oxy makes it count. The scores are 48 39. You see, you lead this. Bale for head and one. Bale for head and big basket. A very big drive there. The young fella has really schooled the captain himself. With a very good drive there. You see you are looking good against the six time oil. City Oilers. So far, so good. Leading the point 50 39. The UCU. The boys from Mukono. Looking so well. Looking so good. So far. Foul. No, no, no. Violation. Foul violation. Violation right there. Captain Jimmy Enabu having few words with Tony Dreba. Tony Dreba looking for Jimmy Enabu. Jimmy Enabu, jab. Jimmy Enabu, Josh Johnson on the drive. Almost lost that one. Ben Koma catch. Pull up. Misses that one. Rebound. Tony Dreba. Pull up. And it's good. Three points. By Donny Lereba. 42, 50. 56. 53 seconds to play. To the end of third quarter. Bale fired, attack strong. And almost lose ball. Dekong. Dekong with that drive. And he's fouled. He's fouled. He looked a bit frustrated. He looks a bit frustrated. Foul called by Mariam herself. He looks a bit frustrated. City Oilers already in foul trouble. Five team fouls so far. The Kong is going to the line to shoot two. But having a few words by the referees. The referees are having some few words on what to do with that incident right there. The referee is Monday, having some few words with Maria. 
on what had really happened right there. It's going to be shooting too. Already the defending champions. Mande Baker trying to overturn that with a technical. Mande Baker trying to assert his authority. He's even telling Tony Dreba to cool off. And he makes it. A technical goes to UCU. The captain himself, Chuma Fadili, having some few words with Mande Baker. And now, Dikong goes to the line to shoot two. Scores are 43-50. The game is very intense, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever you are, this is Deep Ends Media Sports. From the hot city of Kampala. Keep it wherever you are. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumb up. Dikong on the line. Mande Baker. Assert his authority right there. The fans are cheering up. Vinny, what do you think about the fans in, right, in this situation? The fans are actually supporting their team, UCU Cannon. On the table, we have a discussion. Dikong has actually picked up his second technical foul. And according to the FIBA rules, when a player picks up two technical fouls, it's definitely an ejection from the game. So we have uh, Dikong with an ejection. He's actually walking out of the arena with his uh, fellow coach, Nick Natuhereza. So there, has, there has been a substitution. We have Titus who was just subbed. Uh, Dikong is going to take charge of the free throw line with the, with the two shots. Very calm on the line. And he misses. You see you with a seven point lead. 42 seconds to go. Titus actually has one more attempt on the line with a good follow through and he banks the second one. City Oil Ball, eight point game. Long evening for the City Oil players. They're short in numbers. I believe some of them are tired already. Koma Ketch Ben sends uh, Okelo away. Okelo with a good screen to go to, for Koma Ketch Ben. Jimmy Nabu with a hesitation, poses with his handles, dribbles. Oh my god. With a good with a good drive, but he misses. Ballet attacks once again with the in and out. Oh my God! Good move by Ballet Fayed, and he misses. You see ball once again. Good steal by Jimmy Nabu. Nine seconds on the clock. Good drive. Tony hesitates on the three. Jimmy Nabu with the attack misses once again. End of third quarter. Beautiful game of basketball here. You see you up by eight. City Oil 51, City UCU, City Oil 43.
of fourth quarter. UCU 51, City Oil 43 on the floor for the UCU Canons. We have Johas, we have Balefied, we have Titus, we have Chuma Fadili and Isaiah. And for the City Oil team, we have Koma Ketchbren, Landry Dikumana, Okelo James and Tony Drileba. Good steal by Chuma Fadili. On Titus Loal hesitates a bit on the three. He's already had three threes. That's a travel, travel by Titus. It was actually a good move, but he traveled a bit. And the referees were very alert and they could not let that go. They actually, three referees tonight. Special thanks to the referees for letting this happen. And the game is flowing very smoothly. City Oil calmly on offense. Josh Johnson, good screen by Landry Dikumana on to Koma Ketch Ben. Josh Johnson, Tony Drileba, good, uh, good feed to Landry Dikumana, hesitates on the three, and the referee calls a travel. Referee calls a travel. Good job by the referees tonight. They are very keen on all plays, so no one is going unpunished. No one is going unpunished, and we have the referee telling Chuba Fadili to tuck in. So the referees are at duty today. You see, you still up by about eight, nine points. Balified, very calm on offense. On to Chuma Fadili, the experienced big man from Tanzania. We have Titus. Johas with the attack. On to Balified with a good attack. Good turnaround and the hesitation, and he misses. Good rebound by, uh, by Tony Drileba. Tony commanding the offense once again. No scores. No scores in the fourth quarter. It's, if my colleague Saika was around, he would say malaria time. Oxy pounds the big man. And the crowd shouts. Walk by Tony Drileba with a good floater. Tony Drileba with a good floater right there. City Oil down 6 points, 8 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Koma catch playing with a good defense on Johas. Johas shows off his handles a little bit. Titus with a big 3 once again. And he misses. Poor shot. And he apologizes to the bench for the poor 3. I believe Titus should do his role. And let the game flow. Poor shot by Titus. Koma catch Ben on to Josh Johnson with a good feed. Good defense by Chuma Fadili. And we have Kayanga Jerry checking in once again. One of the best three-point shooters on the UCU team, Sabon Bale Fayid. So I believe uh, Joe is going to take charge of the pointing for the UCU Cannons team. Josh Johnson calls for the three. And he shoots the three. And he misses. Chuma Fadili calmly walks to the offense. It's actually very good to always see a big man picking a rebound and commands the offense. Isaiah with the miss yet again. 2-0 to City Oil in the fourth quarter. Tony Drileba on the three-point line. And he misses. Good rebound by Okelo James. Tony Drileba once again. Good, good screen by, by Landry Dikumana of Koma Ketch Ben. Tony tries forcing his way to the basket. And he misses. Tony Drileba, good steal by Tony Drileba, good defense by just the number four, Tony Drileba, guarded by Kayanga Jerry with a good crossover, shows off his handles a little bit, good assist onto the post, foul called by, foul called, Chuma Fadili with a foul on James Okello, seven minutes to play in the fourth quarter, beautiful game of basketball tonight, the crowd have really come to support their teams, the whole arena is actually packed, Game 2 is slated for Friday, 8.30, the Lugogo Indoor Stadium. Please do not miss. Come and support your team. Okello James with the perimeter shot. And he makes the easy one. He makes the easy perimeter shot. City Oil down by 4 points right now. From 13 points, they've cut it to 4. UC is actually going to slip on defense. The champions are still into this. UC should not forget, these are the six-time champions. So anything can happen. Chuma Fadili guarded by Landry Dikumana attacks, pounds the big man, pounds the big man a little bit with a shake, with a shake. Oh my God! With a turnaround, and he makes the easy shot, 
Oh, the big Burundi man. The crowd is lighting up once again. When you see scores, the crowd is really excited. Jimmy Enabu guarded by with a crossover and he attacks. The referee says foul. Foul on Jazzy number 13. Johas Maheta fouls Jimmy Enabu. And it's going to be an inbound play on the baseline. City Oil Ball. You see you up six points. Substitution. The electric guard from Mukono checks in once again. Sabon Johas Maheta. Here we go again. Jimmy Enabu versus Bale Faid. The teacher versus the student. Bale Faid actually goes to I Hoops. Come a catch with a floater. And he misses. Good rebound by Chuma Fadili. I was actually telling you earlier on. Bale Faid goes to I Hoops. Managed by Jimmy Enabu and Koma Ketch Ben. So it's the teacher versus the student. You see your offense. Titus Lual with the ball. Isaiah. What is still 24 second clock violation by UCU. Good defense there by the boys from Luzira. City Oil. 5.48 to go. You see 53, City Oil 47, City Oil up by 6 points. Koma Ketch Ben looks for the big man, James Okello. Good defense, good hustle play by James Okello. And the referee calls a jumbo. Good hustle play by James Okello and Isaiah. And it's UCU basketball. UCU basketball inbound by Chuma Fadili. UCU offense. Bale. Looking very calm with the ball, with the look of things, he got this. Chuma with a good screen, he doesn't roll off. Bale shows off his handles a little bit. Isaiah hesitates on the three, hesitates on the three. Good defense by Tony Drilleba. Good defense by City Oil. Titus with the attack, and he misses. Good rebound by James Okello. Almost got by the 24 second clock, but they recover. They call their famous horns. Two screens by the big men on top. Landu Dikumana onto Jimmy Enabu, guarded by Isaiah. He attacks with a good assist by James Okello. Goes to sleep. Jimmy Enabu with a beautiful pass by James Okello. Goes to sleep and it's a turnover on the City Oil team. Bale Fayed once again. Come on, offense. Guarded by Jimmy Enabu, the teacher versus the student. Teacher versus the student hesitates a bit. Shows off with his handles, attacks the basket, and is fouled by Jimmy Enabu. The captain actually picks up his fourth foul. Jimmy Enabu picks up his fourth foul. Good move by Bale Faid. And he's on the line shooting two. He has a chance to take the game to an eight point lead for the ECU Cannons, the team from Mukono. The students, Bale Faid misses. This is, this is the time where the free throw line should be punished. You gotta make your shots on the free throw if you want to have a chance to win the game. Bale Faid makes the second. Josh Johnson checking in. I believe he's coming on for Jimmy Enabu. Mr. Fourth Quarter, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic, the captain of the Uganda National Basketball Team. Captain Silverbacks goes out with shoulders down. Shoulders down, he's not really amused by that substitution, but I believe he's mature enough. He knows they're gonna bring him back on. Josh Johnson on the three attacks. Good pass to Tony Drilleba. Good defense by Jerry. You see on offense. Good pass by Bale. Oh my god! And it's a foul. That's it by Bale Faid. Good assist by Bale Faid, and it's a nine point game. The boys from Mukono want to run away with this. The boys from Mukono with a nine point game. Isaiah on the free throw line. Can you make it a 10 point game? The crowd very excited, jubilating. You see you once again. Isaiah for the free throw, and he makes the easy timeout. City Oil. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, 
The fire is intense. We might need a extinguisher here in Lugogo. Ladies and gentlemen, call Ugandan fire brigades. Let them provide us with some extinguishers. The champions are crumbling down. And the boys of Mukono are trying to make a statement right here in their finals. The UCU leading by 10 points, 57-47 in favor of UCU cannons. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, this is Deep End Media Sports. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up to bring you the best and the best coverage of the basketball in Uganda and other sports as well. Time out. The team's having a few talks with their respective coaches. As you can see, Mande Jurini is not really happy with the way players are really playing. But with hopefully four minutes, 15 seconds to play on the clock. Both teams having two team fouls. On the floor right now, we have James Okello, Josh Johnson, Landry Ndukumana. Ben Comacatch, Tony Dreba with the inbound. Ben Comacatch. Calling for basic. Landry Ndukumana on the drive. Unfinished. Finish strong. Landry Ndukumana. Josh Johnson trying to press Balefied 100%. Josh Johnson, foul, ball of fight. Actually, is, what do you think, Vinny? Is that really a necessary foul? I don't know if it's a tactic by Josh Johnson trying to frustrate ball of fight with an off-ball foul. He's trying to prevent uh, ball of fight from getting the ball. Now it's ball of fight versus Josh Johnson. Passes on to Isaiah. The, the big Tanzanian dazzles, dazzles on the post. That's on the post with the assist to Isaiah for the three. Bang! Isaiah. You see you 60. City Oil 49. 330 seconds to play. City Oil offense. Tony Duleba as usual come. Fitz Okello James with the attack. Referee says foul on Chuma Fadili. Is it a shooting to foul? Or it's going to be a side ball? You see you up by about 11 points and the crowd singing you see you all day long you see you all day long the boys from Mukono look set to take game one Jerry Kayanja with a hesitation Jerry Tan good with three minutes 12 seconds to go city oil 49 special thanks Points for Antony Dulem
He's in the lead. Lali Dukumana fouled Ale Faid. 44 seconds to go. My colleague, Sadiq, what do you have to say? Well, the game is very intense. As you can see, 65 59. The UCU boys are still looking good. The electrifying point guard from Mukono, Bale Faid, taking charge of matters into his own hands. He goes to the line to shoot two. The referee has had their authority right there. Making the point guard to shoot two. Bale fired. He makes the first. Bale fired, making the whole arena be on their feet. But UCU and City Oilers fans are cheering this young fella for his outstanding and unbelievable performance. Ball handling skill. He has really amazed each and every person. Makes the second. By putting them back in the lead once again. Ben Koma catch on the drive. Ben Koma catch. Guided by Isaiah Ter. Ben Koma catch attack strong. Lost it. Jerry Kayanga. Jerry Kayanga. Controlling. Jerry Kayanga. Tried to be bullied. Isaiah Ter. 24 seconds to play. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end. On 24 seconds, the City Oilers, six-time defending champions, decided to give the UCU of Mukono a lead, the lead in the series stands at 1-0. Game of seven. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys of Mukono have once again proven that they can not only 